Hi everyone, I am Dr. Babita and in this video we will learn the difference between a macular hole and a macular pseudo hole. Before starting this video, I would like to remind you that in case you wish to see this video in Hindi, then the link to my Hindi channel can be found in the description box below. Now let's begin. So macular hole is defined as a full thickness defect of the retinal layers at the macula. Let's see this image. This is a normal retina with a normal foveal contour on OCT. All the retinal layers in the region of the fovea are intact. Now in this second picture, this is the fundus photo of the left eye of a patient. At the center of this picture, that is in the region of the macula, you can see a circular area which is reddish brown in color. This is what a macular hole looks like and this reddish color is due to the underlying choroid. Here is the OCT of this eye. You can see that the layers of retina are absent at the fovea. So this is a case of left eye full thickness macular hole. Now let's see another fundus photo. This is again the left eye of another patient. Here again you can see a circular reddish area in the center right here. Let's see what the OCT looks like. In the OCT you can see that all the layers of the retina at the fovea are intact. There is no defect. So this appearance of the macula on clinical examination usually on slit lamp biomicroscopy where it looks like a macular hole but on OCT, the retinal layers are found to be intact is known as a pseudo hole because it might appear like a macular hole but that is a false appearance. So why exactly does a macular pseudo hole develop? If you see this image again, you will see a shiny membrane like reflex surrounding the fovea. This is an epiretinal membrane or an ERM. On the OCT, this ERM appears as a hyper reflective line covering the internal limiting membrane. This line here is the ERM. Centripetal contraction of ERM leads to the development of a pseudo hole. Thus, as a rule, a pseudo hole is always associated with an ERM. Other important features of pseudo hole on OCT are the ERM is absent at the foveal region and also the foveal margins are vertically straight as opposed to a normal fovea which has sloping margins as you can see in this image below. Since no foveal tissue is lost in a pseudo hole, the retinal layers are intact at fovea. Therefore, the visual acuity is well preserved and surgery is not required for a pseudo hole. So, in conclusion, the differential diagnosis of a full thickness macular hole could be a pseudo hole. Both might appear very similar on slit lamp biomicroscopy but can be easily differentiated on OCT. In full thickness macular hole, all the foveal layers are absent, while in a pseudo hole, all the foveal layers are present. So that is all for this video. Please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues if you found it useful. And do subscribe to my channel to support free education. Thank you very much.